Auntie Blue Blue in fear as only of if is said to be in love with one princess from Ilefe. Hehehe, <laughs> my people. Only of if you know they're tired to be, lo- to be in love, my people. You know they tired. Why is he not tired of loving women? Beautiful women are not yet born, no. They are still coming out. Mm-hmm. Even till tomorrow, you go still they see beautiful, beautiful women. I know say Queen Nomi is beautiful, but you go see more beautiful women that is even more beautiful than Queen Nomi. Yes, so my people, the thing what they happen right now is that they say that allegedly oh, that Olori blue blooded don't uh, don't enter. <laughs> Don't know how, how I'm going to say it. She don't they catch him already. As they say that only of her is now in love with although only of her have been in love with this particular woman. Be, this particular lady in question. He have been in, in love with them, with her. Then the thing how the thing happened is that the thing was like only love this lady. This lady is from Ilay Feo. Mm-hmm. And also from one of the ruling class, a ruling family, a royal family is them, from the palace, from the Ileife. And it happened that Onyofe and this lady met years ago. And Onyofe was so much in love with this lady. To the extent that they wanted to take, you know, Kerewa. But then God said, the thing never happened. Okay. They say that the lady is so rich. You know, say no be small, no no be small people. Uh, people. No be small people when you they do something with. When you is a rich man as is and he's dealing with the rich people too. That is why they say that when he married Queen Nomi, Queen Nomi did not have anything, and they were they were making mockery of her that she's not rich. She she not go to school. She did not do this. She did not do that. But later, what happened? Queen Nomi is now a a, a, a doctorate doctorate degree holder and she have money you know we say she know they open her mouth tell tell us how much she gets you know me is a confirmed binunia yes he didn't want when they make noise maybe maybe uh, madam type we go do one thing she go start they make noise say she give on your face she did this she did that so my people know according to what we heard they say that this auntie uh, this auntie princess, let me put it that way, because she be princess. Now, no, so she they come from that ruling class of uh, from Ileife, and you know, if you love this lady, okay, you know, if you let her lost the contact of the lady, I don't know what happened that you know, if you lost the contact. So it happened that few uh, weeks ago, they said that the, the lady called you know, if you, and you know, if you invited her to the palace. When she came to the palace to see Onye Ife, it happened that, you know, say, now some of these soloists where, where these people go first meet before coming to Onye Ife's chamber. It happened that she met Olori Blue Blooded. Blue Blue. Blue Blue for life. When do they keep her own tomorrow? The um, Olori Ronke was like, hey, hey, Onye Ife don't come again. No. Be like, so Onye Ife won't marry this woman, won't marry this lady. And if he was trying to prevent this lady from going to meet Oni of Ife, my people. Imagine. You know? And thank God that Dr. Elizabeth was at the corner. So Dr. Elizabeth was there and saw when the lady was trying to uh, make her way into Oni of Ife's chamber. And Dr. and the Ronke stopped, was trying to p- stop her. And Ronke, you know Ronke said that she's trying to protect the, her husband. But Onye Ife is the love of her life. She loves Onye Ife with everything that she has. She cannot do without Onye Ife. She has known Onye Ife for 20 years. Although they say that it's true, according to what I heard later, that Ronke knew Onye for so long. But why Onye Ife did not marry her is what we don't know. Because Onye Ife no love her the way she thinks that Onye Ife loves her. Or the way she say, she's claiming that she loves Onye Ife. So, New York still left her and married other women. Now, they said that why she was married into that palace is not just because of New York wanted to marry her or because she knew New York for how many years. She was married out of compassion. 
so that only, if only will compensate her elders. That is why she was married into that palace. And if she they remember this kind of thing, say she was married out of compensation, I think it will be helping her to at least put her mouth in a cupboard, you know, minimize the way she talk and so many things that she does in that palace. But she don't remember any of this. That is, she should know where she's coming from. That is what we used to say that if you know where you are, if you know you where you are coming from, you know how you package yourself. Had it been said she did remember say she was married out of compensation. She go package herself very well, no say I'm there for this palace, no we say only of you love me. Anyway, she and my people now so we talk they hear them. They can't talk say uh K was thinking in her mind that hey, you know if he's going to marry this lady, this lady is beautiful. According to what we heard, they said that the, that the lady is so beautiful. The lady is so beautiful. And in the in the heart of Runke, she don't start the thing say, We need to go marry this person. Not knowing that that woman, I be that lady came for business. You know, so you're a businessman. Mm -hmm. And Dr. Disbert blasted Olori Runke and told her that you don't have the right to prevent anybody that wants to see the king from seeing the king. You don't have any right. Whether you think that the new affair will marry that person, it's not the way, the same way uh, new affair married you. Mm -hmm. new affair married you. So if you if you still want to marry other women, let him continue. My people, good to know the tire new affair. Good thing. Mm -hmm. Good, good. Kere wa no the tire. You see? My people. And so I take care of more. I don't know how to, what you have to say in this whole thing. But one thing I know is that only love could know me. And I don't think he's ready to marry any more wife. Not now. Because he doesn't want anything that will hurt Kunomi again. Kunomi is outside there. He's trying to bring Kunomi back. I don't think he's going to try marrying any more wife. Because if he does that, it means that what we think that he has for Kunomi is all fake. And if you marry another wife, run kill them, marry them, Toby, they go they will laugh on Queen Nomi very, very well because they will be like, Oh, it's, you see, you see your, your husband, the way, way you talk, saying he love you. He's busy marrying other women. I know he's not going to marry any more wife. Yes, he's not going to marry any more wife. So that is the gist, my people. Lo. <laughs> Thank you. And don't forget that they are all alleged information. For Nia Fife, he loves Queen Nomi, and there's no two ways about that. Bye. I love you guys. Please, please, please consider giving this video a thumbs up. I beg you. Give my video a thumbs up. Please. Oh.